I think because the way we judge means that every single wine, no matter where it's from, gets the very best chance to be understood and to shine. The second reason is that the results have a, a global leverage. We know that they're shared all over the world. And the, the third reason is that we work really hard to promote and talk about the wines. We, once they get in the world, we want to champion them. I think it's credibility, uh, validity, authority. It's coming from a pool of people who have put in a lot of time and effort to choose this wine and put it on a pedestal. It sort of gives to the consumer a certain sense, a stamp of approval. And I think that's what's most relevant in markets today where there can be a lot of clutter on the shelf. So it helps you differentiate yourself. Put in your best wines and believe in them and good wines always come out on top. Yeah, I think it's the, the mix of judges. I think you know, everyone comes in with different backgrounds and, and different points of view. And I think that's a real strength for the wine show. When you're in a shop or online and you see an IWC award on the wine, you know that it's been through the most rigid tasting process of any of the wine tasting competitions in the world. Everyone, every wine gets marked, whether it's good or bad. The bad ones get looked at about three times before we say genuinely this wine is no good. And the good ones get looked for at three times, four times, five times by a group of judges who really want to award the best wine with the right medal. So it's really hard to choose a wine when you go into a shop and you're looking at a whole wall of bottles and a lot of them look fairly similar. You've only got a label to go on. So in my experience and part of that experience as, as an ex-supermarket buyer, I know the value that any extra clues for the consumer, what a benefit that is. So a medal is a really easy way just to signpost and help them make a decision when it comes to buying. What comes to mind is it's a focus on quality. There isn't really a, a stylistic agenda. So good wines tend to get through. Uh, the panel chairs are fantastic, really well informed. So it's just a comprehensive competition with, with great judges. It's a really good way to get your wines, first of all, get them in front of a lot of people. Uh, second, it'll give you a really good steer where your wine sits in terms of quality compared with a lot of competition. So it's, it's definitely worthwhile. I think absolutely it's worth, it's worth entering the, the IWC. I think the thing that I respect the most uh, about the International Wine Challenge is that the results are fair and, and consistent. So for better or worse, you can trust the, the result that you've, that you've earned. I think it's easy for us to underestimate how overwhelming for consumers the massive selection of wines is. The main benefits are that you know it's been tasted by a panel of absolute experts, multiple tasted, <laughs> tasted on several occasions and put in context, both of its own style and globally. So you know you're getting a benchmark and a guarantee of quality and interest and character. I think consumers are faced with so much choice, it's hard to know if you want to experiment, how to experiment. And I think an award from the IWC is a guarantee the wine has been really well made and it's worth a punt. You see, it's a very sound professional platform when one looks at competitions around the world. It, is, it has been run for many years, it is done on a professional basis and the results speak for themselves. Mm -hmm.